the reason why I chose this uh, Chief Your Gears with API linting, when I saw the logo of uh, Washington DC, I thought, okay, I want to get it here, all the way from San Jose. So I took a red eye flight and reached here. And I'm the one of the reason who, uh, because they changed the uh, timing and gave the opportunity. Thanks for that. So I'm engineer and engineering manager for uh, one of the data center company, um, and also uh, Apache committee and PC, uh, project management committee member. So I've been worked in the couple of uh, uh, integration projects, but as a result of it, uh, we have learned a lots of uh, uh, techniques and uh, in a hard way how we can produce a better APIs for our consumer. So uh, journey of API is always there are two personas. One is the API consumer and API producer. So I'm here to represent both the party, but mostly I'm going to advocate for the uh, API producer because they need more help. So uh, in, in any development world, we always say API first approach. What does it mean? We try to design and come to a kind of a conclusion what type of implementation that we are going to do. But the truth is, it's not true, right? It's never going to happen. People write the code and try to convert that into the contract or bring some governance model in place later in the game and say, okay, this design is not going to work, we want to correct. So the process is full of messy. Uh, why? We don't have a proper automations in place. Uh, because of that, lots of engineers and uh, engineering leaders like me get into trouble later in the game because we already made the investment on the development and design. So this Ignite talk is to trigger a conversation with, within you and me to uh, how we can make this process much more simpler uh, without any complication for our developers. So uh, likewise, we, I'm, I'm going to talk about the tool that we used uh, in our uh, CI-CD process and the development process, how we utilize that tool to uh, make sure that we are removing these kind of uh, bugs and the design flow in the early in the game itself. So the key is we have to set the rules um, within our organization or teams or uh, across the organization, so that's a very key. How can we make that happen? So if you try to establish a, a governance group uh, among your teams and the stakeholders in between uh, API consumers and API producers, and get into one room, discuss about it, define those rules, and evangelize that, have workshops, and try to figure out how we can um, put these rules and regulations in, in practice. So as part of it, uh, we have to have a, uh, a service called API linter. Think about that engine or, or kind of a service that up and running where whenever you give your uh, API contract like a RAML or uh, open API, uh, API say, when you give, give that, what's happening is when the developers submit the uh, pull request or PR request, the CI-CD process will invoke that service and, uh, and make sure that the, uh, the defined rules are met or not. So we ha you have to streamline that process. So first couple of uh, iteration, we struggle a lot, but over the time, once we establish that rules and regulations and when we put the CI-CD in place, whenever there is a new API uh, defined, we were able to see the better API quality uh, in place. When I say API quality, which means the API consistency uh, is uh, improved better. At the same time, the uh, code quality also went really high because we were able to make sure that the consistency of uh, the error handling, consistency of um, messages, the data structures, and everything are already set in the rule. So whenever there is a design uh, submitted, the, we make sure that we uh, pull in the all the rule set and validate the design even before a developer develop the API and get into the production. So API linting tool always gave us a, a great opportunity to ma even make sure that put these security rules in place so that we have the enhanced security capability that allow us to produce a better quality APIs for our API consumer. So with that, I really want to thank you for the uh, DC DevOps Days organizers, thanks. Thank you, thank you.